So in the previous video, we showed the steady state graphically and how we had convergence. Now let's solve for the steady state algebraically. So we'll start by assuming a Cobb-Douglas production function. Uh, so that'll be of the form y equals a bar, because we have fixed productivity, multiplied by k alpha l bar, because we currently have fixed labor supply. So it would look like that. Uh, what we found before is that we can write the per capita versions of output in terms of per capita capital in terms of this so we're just using our fixed productivity parameter and that will be capital per capita raised to the power of alpha so at our steady state which I just call SS we know that this condition is true we have that our depreciation is equal to our investment. I'll call this K star to show that it's a steady state. Uh, yeah, so investment, which is your savings multiplied by our output per capita, uh, is equal to depreciation here. Uh, what we can do is then substitute this in here. So we know that this F of K is equal to A bar K alpha. So we'll just substitute that in. That's alpha k star all to the alpha and that is still equal to our depreciation term here and now all we want to do is solve for k star and this will give us the value of k star at our steady state so we solve for k star using this equation that we've just derived and so very simply, let's just rearrange to get k star on its own in terms of parameters. So we can start by dividing both sides by this s a bar and kind of group those together with the other parameter of depreciation. And then once we've done that, we can just divide across this k star term. And let's just use some rules of powers such that this is true. So now we've got the K, just one k star term, should make it a little bit easier. And now we can just move this power across, divide by this, in effect, divide by this power on the other side, uh, so that the equation still holds true. So that we have this, uh, but I'm going to clean this up a little bit because we know that this alpha term is just the weight that we put to different factors of production so in fact this is negative because alpha is between 0 and 1 so we're going to flip that um, over and we'll end up flipping over the fraction that it is the power of so let's do that we now have k star equals oops, uh, s a bar over sigma one, and this is now 1 minus alpha on the bottom of this uh, term. So this basically just defines our k star in steady state, uh, but it is pretty standard to take out our productivity or technology parameter of the brackets uh, such that we write it like this. Uh, we have to keep everything raised to the power, it's basically just writing it in a different form. So this k star, we will say, is our steady state level of capital per worker. And once we know this, we have k star in terms of our productivity parameter A, in terms of savings rate and depreciation rate. Uh, once we know this, we can find the values of everything else in our model per capita. So let's use this to find our output per capita. Uh, a result that we've been using a lot is the fact that our lowercase y equals a bar uh, multiplied by capital per capita to the alpha. So all we need to do is substitute in this k star for this k here, and then that will give us our y star, our output per capita when we're at steady state. So let's do that. So now y star equals a bar multiplied 
by a bar, which is, as we can see above, to the power of this multiplied by this. This is just substituting this term in. And then this is all to the power of alpha. So if we just work this through quickly, we have to raise everything to the power of alpha. Like so. And now if we just collect these alphas or these A bars, the productivity parameter together, we'll with a bit of simple rules of powers, we will see that this is equal to this term. Um, basically because our the power of A bar was this. And I've just made that look a bit nicer by grouping the terms together. So this is our output per capita in steady state right here. Uh, it looks pretty much the same as our capital per capita, but we just have this term with depreciation and savings raised to the power alpha over 1 minus alpha instead of 1 over 1 minus alpha. And that pretty much characterizes our steady state that is finding our steady state capital and our steady state output per capita. So that's just about it for this one. That's the per capita values. If you want to watch the next video, it should be in the playlist, which hopefully is about there. And we'll be looking at deriving the aggregate levels of these. And for future videos, make sure to subscribe, of course.